Tamil Nadu Chief Minister M.K. Stalin recently spoke about the Dravidian model. But what exactly is the Dravidian model? Does it amount to welfareism? Is it feasible in a neoliberal economy with centralized federal structure? Professor Venkatesh Athreya talks about it in the context of the Tamil Nadu budget 2022-23 presented recently. Dravidian governments both, uh, you know, of both varieties is that they have all been generally very reluctant to devolve finances, functions and uh, functionaries to elected local bodies. That continues. See, this is the contrast with Kerala. Where Kerala hemmed in in many ways, even more so than Tamil Nadu, especially with the disaster they had to face in uh, a series of disasters since 2016, and especially of course the COVID, which they handled quite brilliantly. I must say, they have uh, had a long legacy of decentralization, democratic decentralization, inspired by the Mr. Madhuripad, and now of course people's plan already about. 20 odd years old and uh, so there is a tradition in Kerala's political culture of uh, devolution and contestation for resources at the local level and that has stood them in good stead it's because of just contestation for resources it's also participation so they have participated actively in development issues including handling of the pandemic and Tamil Nadu because we have not devolved we have not encouraged the culture of decentralization uh, there's still a resistance to, of course, the elections held. Yeah, that's very similar to the union government, right? Yeah, but no, this, this government has held elections to both urban and rural local bodies, to its credit. But that is different from the powers you vest them with and the resources you devolve to them. On both those counts, much more needs to be done. Uh, some little has been done, but much more needs to be done. So I would. The other, yeah, so the other area where the budget could have done better would have been to promote greater devolution of both finances and functionaries as well as functions to elected local bodies. So, uh, what is this conflict that you are talking about in the Dravidian model? No, no, you see the Dravidian model is supposed to foreground people's welfare, right? But to me it has always seemed like what is being given the name Dravidian model, but the elements of it is very valuable, okay, social justice, fighting caste operation and so on. What is significantly missing is of course core land reforms. Uh, the followers of the Dravidian model say well, there is no need for land reform, we have, you know, social justice, reservations and all that. And you have the PDS and uh, some welfare uh, actions. I do not think that is quite adequate uh, and I think that especially since you are PDS and other welfare expenditures are critically dependent on what the union government does in terms of resources that come to you. These make it precarious. So, it is important. Uh, the whole idea of land reform was not just about as an economic measure. It was meant as a measure that would have broken caste hegemony and caste oppression in the countryside. One reason why you see that the, the Oppression against Dalits has still remained an important part of the public discourse in Tamil Nadu. It continues and takes some very severe forms, as in the case of intercaste marriages. Is that we have never had comprehensive land reforms, and uh, this is something that the Dravidian model doesn't consider as being necessary. But that's a Dravidian model as explained by academics. Now, the CM had referred to a Dravidian model when talking about the victory of the DMK front in the local body elections. I don't know in what sense. Uh, uh, the finance minister has used the term Dravidian model, he has repeatedly alluded to it. But that is a, whatever one may think of the Dravidian model and its limitations as well as its strengths, there is obviously an inherent conflict between a purely neoliberal policy framework and a policy framework that seeks to address the welfare needs of the population through PDS and other uh, state measures. So, there is a tension there and it is not clear that uh, Thyagarajan has uh, Recognize that fully.